Oh my God. I almost can't talk because I got this crazy um, excitement <laughs> inside of me that's not mine, but to be mine. And what they revealed to me, it's got me shaking. It's so good, it's got me shaking. And it's making sense of the Three of Pentacles and uh, this possible just collaboration of three individuals just getting a break away into paradise and hanging out and having fun but doing some business and it just sounds fucking awesome oh man um it's just as excited as i was earlier while my videos were uploading no it's not just asking but my own excitement um earlier because, yeah, like I said, I'm doing my homework and they pulled me to this uh, Luis Miguel story. It's a really great story, so y'all should watch it. Um, especially if you're an artist, because I know y'all gonna resonate with the shit he went through. And it's like, I've gone through my own, just not on the same path. And uh, I was just so fucking, I'm still, t now I'm talking about it. I'm gonna get excited because at least what this show depicts, I love his mind because he feels like another brother from another mother for me. And um, he he plays chess, you know? He knows when to sit quiet and let people think that they're winning, right? And it's like, checkmate, bitch. And he just pulled the fucking best checkmate in the fucking world. You know why? The dude that took his uh comp so the guy did end up taking the company out from under louis 80 percent. so somebody in your company is they trying to get more money than they deserve and when when it hit me what maria was doing i straight blurted that out. i was like man you've been plotting to get my abundance and you really think you was going to get my riches that are coming. And the thing is, it's not that I don't think I'm going to have all that. It it felt like more of the spirits talking to her for me because it was a little more confident. I don't know if confident or not, definitely not cocky is the right word. I just wasn't that advanced in my own di dissection of everything to blurt that out to her. And as it came out, I was like, yeah, shit, dang, she really did. And then you don't want to feel that way about them, but then everything comes and shows, yeah, that's what exactly what they're doing. And you're like, whoa. Anyways, in his series, um, I'm only like halfway through the third season. Um, just they take me through the breaks and other stuff or to do my own video. But he went checkmate like a motherfucker. He called that... Uh, guy that worked for him that took 80% of his comp 80%, right? And then try to act like to make sure you don't um, mismanage it and bullshit. And um, one way or another, it wasn't his to take and control. And I just felt for Luis because I'm like, he got to go sing, you know, give his heart while watching these motherfuckers in the studio. Um, because to me, Luis is the company. He's the voice. It, without him, there is nothing, right? Um, unless, like, royalties and shit. And I don't know so much how his career went with that because people love to get their hands on your masters, your royalties. Such bullshit. Control. Slavery, right? He called the motherfuckers Patricio. P Patricio. Patricio started out as a lawyer, and he went to the music business. And that's like how he outsmarted Luis in that moment and got Lu Luis to sign 80% of the company to him, his part share of, um, to Patricio. And then Patricio, um, you know, floating high and smirking. And it's like, God, I don't think I could show up to the studio with that motherfucker there. It's almost like I would have just go broke and be like, fuck you, we not, none of us making shit unless this is gonna be fair. And then, well, that's just how I am, right? So, 
Checkmate, he called Patricio's papa. <laughs> he called his dad, who his dad runs a law firm, which is why Patricio is even a lawyer, probably. And the dad said he would take Patricio to jail if he didn't give Luis back his share of the company. And I thought that was the most brilliant move that somebody can make. I'm sitting here with some mad admiration about that. And it was, <laughs> it was the way he dismissed him. Because, too, he, like, keeps his, like, poise. And he's like, but go on, get on the plane. Daddy's waiting. Because, like, he passes the phone to Patricio and says, and it's his dad on the phone. Patricio don't even know. So it brings, like, the childhood back. And it's like, even in your grown ass ways, you still need to, um, there's still someone above you, a parental figure or the spirits or both that can check your ass. And he called his lifeline on someone he didn't even, I'm assuming, you know, know like that or care about like that. He pulled his chest move and got it, at least as far as what I see now, got his share back because the, the dad, got the kid to sign he's not a kid but anyway so some of you guys you gotta reach out to somebody is the message here you gotta reach out you might have to call somebody's mama or dad and and i get it because i've kept a lot of things silent in my own family um protecting my twin sister um and one day it's like my mom came up to me and was like stop helping her and i was like i've been trained to help her Every, everybody like blood's thicker than water and and she was just like stop helping her your grandmother you your sister your brother me mike which was her husband at the time we have all helped her and way more than we have helped you so stop helping her and i was like such a mind fuck right because your whole life because this is in my 30s that now she's telling me don't help your sister but she's got kids that i looked as like my own, you know, any child that I come into contact with, I would look at it as like my own the, uh, innocent soul, whether they bad or not, you know. Um, but these are closely related, and I love the heck out of those. But, you know, she, she's their mother. And so when it comes down to it, you have to, I had to let go of that to, to a degree. Anyways. You might got to call somebody's family member. And, and the reality is the truth just needs to come out. That's just what it is. And a lot of good-spirited people will be protecting the wrong individuals because we don't want to see. And that's where the dark thrives in because we don't want to see and we're not ruthless um, and going to blast their shit out. But that's also why, you know, I started recording Maria when she would start to go in on me because... It would get her to stop. And it's the only way I felt protected. I don't want to put that shit online. You see, there's only like two videos, you know. But it's not helping us. The people like us, the truth needs to be known, especially if we're not the aggressor. Um, or even if we have our moments of it, you know, we're human, you know. And people like this and Patricio, they poke and they poke and they poke the you're not even the bear, but they poke and poke and um, it's hibernation time and they want to wake your ass up, you know, with bullshit, uh, trying to steal your goods. And God, how hard people will work at taking your shit because they don't have faith in their own magic, which also brought me to this. This is the crisis of the world, because if you guys heard how many people, especially women, um, and it's on the male side too. Um, but I say it's detrimental so much with the women because I'm on both sides, but they're the mothers, they're the nurturers, right? So they're raising the youth and the fathers are, a lot of them are starting to step up and a lot of them are gone or we have a role reversal, you know, a stay at home dad, the masculine. but. They're all in this mindset that there's not pure or true love out there. 
But what do they say? Then that's not in you. If that's what you believe, then it must not exist in you. And I believed in it this whole time because it absolutely is in me. The, like, do I say sad or fortunate? I, I don't know. But tell us all this time, getting worse over the years, as rapidly as technology um, advances. So do people's doubt in, in the community, right? Doubt in um, pure love. And that was hard for me to have person after person in person and people online respond to like my posts, like, oh, that doesn't exist. And I'm just like, oh, we're not doomed, but we have so much to fucking come back from. Because even the purest souls have been tainted to believe it doesn't exist. So if they believe it doesn't exist, it don't fucking exist. Because it's not going to exist in them and it's not going to be in a manifestation, right? Their vibration says it won't. And so when people like me come along with the truth, it's a mind fuck for them. And it's easier for them to be like, yeah, it don't exist and I'll play the game. And hammer and nail, I'm not going to be the nail. But you have to dare to be brave and say, no, nah, I ain't going to be the fucking nail or the hammer. But if you come around me, I can turn you into a nail real quick. So checkmate. Y'all might have to make a checkmate and reveal your truth. I hear with this story on Luis Miguel, it seems very private like myself. Um, well, we can't be so private anymore. It doesn't help people like us. Um, and it lets the devil hide. And it's hard because you don't want to embarrass people. You want to give them room to grow, right? But they badass children out here need to be like, woke the fuck up. So all I can say though is, I can't wait to finish the rest of the series. Probably be done with it tonight. But fuck yeah, call the poppy, call the mommy. Call the sister, call the brother. If they are like, oh, why are you calling me? And I would don't, 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 then the wrong vibe too. But the, the main thing is you get the message out to whatever source should hear it or bear witness to it in order for us to get things balanced. And it also brought me just to educate you guys here. Um, if there's people cross watching or doubting or wondering like what the hell. Um, that know my story here with Maria and her Airbnb that's just across the way, I manifest and it gets filled. But the thing is it becomes a detriment to me because even though it's good, it could be a good family energy, it's too many and there's a lot of rambunctiousness sometimes and um, it's their energy. I'm here to help transmute Maria's energy, not her and a whole fucking tribes over and, you know, I, I it's too much on the body. So it's like, it puts me in a, it's like I could do that to get money in her pocket and her maybe give me, maybe, like give me a little, but then it hurts this and I'm still not getting cleared here. And so what they brought me the other day was to share a message with her and her big lesson and all this is cause like she has, she got disability early and she kept trying uh, through the state of Hawaii, I think she had to do it twice because they denied her, um, maybe even three times, because it sounded like it was a big ordeal. And I'm like, interesting. And, you know, she cleaned hotels for, as she puts it, you know, 20 years of her life. And um, she did banquets. And, like, she's worked hard and she had to do it with two kids. And I was like, yeah, but well, that's your path. That doesn't mean. Uh, you know, we all have our own struggles and you laid down and had babies, you know, you put your, took your inner child and put it on the outside. So you have to deal with it, you know, but um, where I was going with that, sorry, I got off track. Oh, the disability. So she's had this disability before her social security and, um, to keep in mind, where does disability come from? 
the community. Yet she don't want to help help this community member just have shelter, but she want to tap my mind, help have me organize her life, also do my music, also do my channeling and try to get out off the ground and so just take responsibility for the work that she chose for herself. And I try to get her involved in her own art and activate that and not try, I do. And um, I've shown her many things and how to improve her life and uh, willing to be a help. But it took me a long time to realize she don't want to do shit. She just wants someone to do it for her. But she's not at that status and caliber. And when we met, we had the opportunity while she was in her high vibe, right, in ascending. But she got scared and the toxicity made her revert, you know. So it's not like, oh, she's a false twin flame. No, she was, we met, we were aligned in the light, definitely not because old Val had had to learn other lessons. It, life, life's constantly evolving. Um, so we're going to be learning lessons, but it doesn't mean I was aligned to get a bunch of her bullshit. No, we were aligned to help each other continue to elevate and love each other if that's what we wanted. But what she not understanding and the message I was supposed to give to her is like, the energy circulates for her right through county through through the community through the county back to her bank account right and where she can have a, and keep a balance where she doesn't hit a deficit is to help another soul like that she's getting help and not only that's the only reason why she have this house is because she left a husband and was here five years without him okay holding him right hostage basically so she uh but i'm sorry she did the airbnb and she would send money and send that back to him she said he he got all the money but she could get whatever she want no i see how she's shopping she do she's perfectly fine and happy the bottom line is all her riches came from another fucking source primarily and yes she did the paintings in her airbnb and all that but she won't sell them and i'm sitting here watching people come in asking to buy her art and she's turning them down. And I'm like, don't you know our art is mission too? Like you complaining about the money and everything and, and it keeps coming in as an opportunity left and right and you're rejecting it because you don't want to. I'm like, I don't, I do, I've done songs for free online to inspire and uplift people. We have to use our art, you know, it's not just for us. And she's still not, you know, doing that. And that's been frustrating. So anyways, it sounds like I got some counterparts ready to pull a check mate for me. Thank God. One way or another, the divine is. So, man, congrats to fucking Luis Miguel, man. Watch that shit. And, you know, he might get a little, like, he might feel like he's a little cocky at times and stuff. But, yeah, half patience and understand that the guy got in this industry so young and that when I was going to get into the industry as a 20 young 20 year old um I felt like you know you got to have this you know persona because being just my chill authentic self was like yeah I ain't shit and so it was like finding that balance be between not being cocky and being confident is a very fine line because people can't wait to make you something negative. And when I just learned that the right ones will see you in your authenticity and that's the energy you want around you, right? So if they don't like you in your authenticity, fuck them. Checkmate bitches, that's where I leave it. Call they poppy, call they mommy, call they kids if you got to because they hiding. And what I'm learning right now with them want me to do video after video, some people talking some shit. So they're like, get the videos out because these people are going to get silenced real quick.